we're stepping through the entire diatonic cycle. And in this video, I'm going to show you just a four chord progression out of the cycle that is very frequent and a couple of variations of it actually. So the chord progression is really straightforward. It's one, six, two, five. Where's the cycle? It's from the C to the A to the D to the G. There's your, there are your fourths. From the C, there's another fourth, to the A, to the D, to the G. So the only other interval other than moving in fourths that I'm moving is a minor third when I go from the C to the A, from here to here or from here to here, okay, by an octave. Now I'm going to do a variation of that. I'm going to go, instead of back to the one, I'm going to go to the three chord. The three and the one chord are related. They share two notes, so it sounds fairly smooth. So one, six, two, five, three, six, two, five. Now if I play the roots of that, I get A, D, G, E. Right, depending on, it doesn't matter where I start, but E, A, D, G. There's your cycle again, right? And the interesting bit here is I also get a minor third as the only other interval other than fourths. So a fourth, 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 and then a minor third. We can also turn around the order. Instead of going A, D, G, E, we can start with an ascending fifth from the A to the E, and then the G to the D. A lot of songs do that as well. Hotel California is one example. Let's fly in the band and have a little bit of fun with the chord progression of two, five, three, six. So what I showed you before was three, six, two, five. I'm just going to start it on the two, something that happens a lot in songs. And let's do it in a different key. How about we do it in the key of E flat? So the chord, um, the chord progression, you have it in your handouts, but it's F minor go into the B flat 7 and then G minor and C. Okay, and C minor 7, sorry. So here we go. is a great tool for the bass player to understand the workings of the bass, to practice concepts through all 12 keys to get equally fit all over the fretboard, to grasp tunes in a whole new way um, by getting into the diatonic cycle as a whole or in parts and to realize all that coming out as creative grooves, fun solos, groove solos and anything else that you want to do on the bass. Please check out my courses here on Truefire. Uh, I'll see you in the classroom maybe. Thank you very much for watching and keep grooving.